hello and welcome to your online classes so this is the second video about the non finite verb so in this video we will cover up the children's and the participle and we will see how we identif identify the word sentences about the gerunds and see the subject what is the subject and what is the verb and then participle all the form so let's start our video so today video we will see non finite verb gerunds okay so what is gerunds gerunds verbs are very versatile they even uh, even act as a noun in sentence such verbs are called gerunds a gerunds is a present participle and that used as a noun and thus it is made made from a verb by adding ing a gerund ends in ing but all ing words are not gerunds for example we will see here her singing was appreciated immensely okay so here singing used as a noun it is gerund okay singing second example she was singing old film songs so here singing is a verb a gerund can be used as a subject or an object of the main verb in a sentence okay let's answer the question what for example swimming keeps me fit so question what keeps me fit okay so answer your swimming so uh, gerund here is as a subject view okay so i love swimming or i love to go for swimming so what do i love question is asking swimming answer is swimming uh, verbs ending in ing also function as adjectives in a sentence for example she will be Uh, resigning from her highly rewarding job so rewarding is used as a adjective an adjective it is easy to identify a gerund when we identify the main verb first for example his drinking day and night was harming his health so here was harming is a main verb and drinking is a gerund so this is gerund means a uh, gerund is a verb form that function as a noun so it is called a verb or noun also so form verb plus ing used as a noun sentence gerund uh, noun used as a function also or as a form also okay so if you see the rules so rules say uses of gerund so as a subject also like a swimming is a good exercise so here swimming is a subject it is working as a subject and uh, the next one is writing is a habit if you want to write you can write so um, swimming is a good exercise first we see the first example swimming is a good exercise so the swimming is a subject is a work as a subject here and it is a helping verb it verb is before use the swimming so it is our subject so writing is a subject reading is a reading is a good habit so reading is our gerund so in hindi translate if you say uske baad kya aata na ne ne sound aa gayi okay the first sentence means tarna yani swimming karna and rule number 2 said uses of gerund as a object also like i enjoy driving on curly roads you can write this example i'm telling you okay so i recommended watching complete video she loves singing so sentence first i is a subject and enjoy is a verb after that we use a driving so here gerund as a object use it here okay so watching is our gerund as a object clear all of you and singing gerund as a singing is a gerund as a object clear in the second one i'm telling uses of gerund at the complement of the verb to be like his hobby is reading so one of my duty is teaching you so his uh, weakness is smoking so to be verb 
is there like is am r in past was and were in first sentence that reading is a gerund and the second sentence teaching is a gerund and smoking is a com- complement of the verb okay and the rule number second said uh, a possessive case of noun or pronoun plus gerund noun apostrophe like a pronoun my are your his her it's there we are celebrating rahul winning the contents so i don't like him going to college without me so we are celebrating rahul's winning because in the positive case we are writing so i'm rahul's ko apostrophe me likhenge okay so these are the things which is i want to discuss with you and more things the rules so i will give you in the class note i hope jaren is clear you so now we will see the our uh, participle which is the last topic in this chapter non finite verb in previous video we already discussed the gerunds infinitives so now we discuss the participle like that one what is a participle it is uh, first of all we know about the three points about the participle it is uh, not the main verb in the sentence it does not function as a verb in the sentence and it function as a adjective in the sentence like participle uh three kinds of participles are there present participle past participle perfect participle so first we see present participle is accredited by adding verb ing base form and function as a adjective present participle example you can see here i really like this dancing doll so here main verb is like and dancing is a secondary verb ing form as it is a describing the doll is function as a adjective in the sentence so it is behave the present participle second example also we will see here he jumped from a running train so here main verb is our jumped and running is a secondary verb in ing form as it is describing the train its function as adjective in the sentence so its behave as a present participle in the sentence i hope you clear this present participle now we look at uh, past participle past participle is creating verbs third form and function as the adjective in the sentence for example the broken glass cut my foot so main verb is cut and the broken is second verb in the verb third form as it is describing the glass its function as adjective in the sentence so its behave as a past participle in the sentence now we see the second example the burn toasted toast tasted of a fool so here the main verb is to uh, burn sorry to taste and the burn the secondary verb in the verb third form as it is a describing toast its function as the adjective in the sentence its behave as a past participle i hope you clear this one also now we are talking about the third and the last one present sorry perfect participle what is the perfect participle the perfect participle indicate the completed action they can be active uh, form or passive form in active form they are created by having plus verb third form while in passive form uh, it's uh, created by having been plus verb third form okay for example in active form of pa- perfect participle having plus verb third form example having edited the video i started uploading it so here the first action of editing the video is completed okay and the second action started of uploading so having edited is edited is a perfect participle here second example having finished my homework i went to play so here the first action finish the homework is completed and the second action of playing was started after that so having finished is a perfect participle here now see the sentence ex- examples passive form of perfect participle having been plus verbs third form example having been defeated he felt away here the first action of defeated is completed and the second ac- action action of felt away is performed so having been defeated is a 
परफेक्ट पार्टिसिपे हेयर सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल एंड द लास्ट हैविंग बीन बिटन अप he began to cry so here the first action of bitten is completed and the second action of cry started so having been bitten present perfect sorry perfect participle i hope you clear this all for more details i will explain you again this three types of participle use of present participle as adjective yesterday i saw a burning car it is a boring game In continued tenses, he is playing hockey. She was doing her job. They will be dancing at this time. When two action happen at the same time, means साथ साथ होते जब दो action like uh, sitting in the class, I was reading book. So, okay, listening music. He was doing doing his homework. When one action happen after the other started, immediately second one started. then like open the door the thief ran away opening the eyes i saw my mother so here subject the thief has run and the subject next to work was what doing here open the door so yahan jo kaam kiya gaya usne subject jo hai thief hai okay use of past participle verb third form as adjective i need a written statement he bought a used car america is a development country so statement se pehle written hai जो एक एग्जेक्टिव के रूप में हम काम कर रहे हैं तो इट इज अ रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट टेलिंग अबाउट द एग्जेक्टिव इन परफेक्ट चांस आई हैव टॉट यू जेन एंड रूल्स ही हैड रिटर्न द लेटर शी विल हैव डन हर जॉब सो हेयर हैव के बाद टॉट रिटर्न डन दीज आर द पास परफेक्ट पार्टिसिपेल ओके सो आई होप यू क्लियर दिस वन सो डू वन थिंग वंस अगेन यू सी दिस टेबल this chapter in your from your book also and this video also okay so till then take care and now chapter is complete so please solve the exercise and solve in your book also and your copy also so till then take care and have a nice day